Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Rainbow Six Three Raven Shield, a tactical shooter back from 2003 and a game that I actually got during the Steam Summer Sale this year uh, and I never really played it because I didn't like it the first time I played it and I think the reason for that is because I made the mistake of starting on Veteran which is sort of the normal difficulty and on that difficulty and above the enemies are just aimbot city. It's, it's really unfair and stupid and I thought the whole game was like this but once I started playing on Recruit I found that it's a little bit too easy, but it's still challenging enough that it feels like Rainbow Six. Uh, and anyway, let's get into it and play this game. So right here you see we have all these maps. Uh, unfortunately, the game got kind of lazy and three of the maps are recycled, which is pretty annoying. But uh, anyway, there's still a decent enough selection. And there is also an expansion pack that comes with this game if you buy it on Steam. And it's not that much. I think it's only like $10, so it's, it's definitely worth your money if you like tactical shooters. Uh, especially if you like were disappointed by Takedown Red Saber, this is probably the game you wanted instead. Uh, there's also different game modes you can play on each map, like Lone Wolf, which I believe is where you set the number of terrorists and you just go and do it on your own. Terrorist Hunt, where you're supposed to neutralize all terrorists on the map. And Hostage Rescue, which is pretty much just the regular mission. Operation Cold Dagger. Terrorists have taken hostages in the village of Lamura, Switzerland. Among them are several delegates to the current IMF conference in Geneva. Swiss security forces have sealed off the area in preparation for your arrival. Your mission is to liberate the IMF delegates. Alright, well you heard her. Our mission is to go into this place and rescue two hostages. Now let's go into the team room, and here we can select our team. Bunch of people, all well, different specialties. And we're going to play as Ding Chavez, because you always have to. That's been the thing since Rainbow Six One. And a bunch of other people that nobody cares about. I usually like to get uh, Daniel Bogert. And now from here, you can actually choose your loadout. Now SWAT 4, you could do the same thing, but in this game, it's truly crazy. There's a huge number of things you can have. So I'm going to want flashbangs. Uh, we'll have a sound suppressor on that. I like to take the AUG A1, because that's the governor's gun, and give it a sound suppressor on this mission. As for our... Look at this, you can choose from all kinds of different things. I think, actually, there's more armor options that aren't available right now. Because I swear I've seen tan things. But anyway, we're going to go with Light Winter. And what else? Uh, instead of frag grenades, I think we're going to go with a heartbeat sensor, so I can kind of detect enemies through walls. And I'm going to assign this to all. Actually, I just remembered, I forgot to make the green team, so I'm going to go, these guys can all be team green. And I'm going to go back to here and hit assign all, and let's see if that assigns to green. It does. Okay, and we are now ready to go to the planning room. And this is something that is kind of unique to Rainbow Six, as far as I know, the planning screen. And this basically allows you to not only decide your own path through, but you can also tell an AI team what to do, and you can get them to coordinate with you, and it's really good, because what Rainbow Six is all about, really, is finding just the perfect way to burst in and kill all the terrorists without giving them a chance to kill the hostages that are right next to them. So we're going to start with the red team's path, uh, which is we're going to go here, around the corner. And I have already played these maps to death, and that's kind of the way you play these games. You're pretty much not going to get it on the first try. It's about trial and error and figuring out what works and what doesn't. Uh, you guys come down here. No. Sometimes it's a little wonky. Uh, you get down here. And you're going to look through this window and kill the terrorists through here. Come around here. Kill the terrorist in here. And come back through here. And now you're going to come back through here, go up the ladder, look down through this window, back down the ladder, and from there, down here. And I'm not going to tell my guys to do it because I am playing as Red Team and I already know to do it, but we're going to toss a flashbang in there. Come around, go downstairs, grab the hostage, and hmm, from there I think we're going to come around and down. Uh, we're going to want to be careful through here, but come around here and into the green area to win. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the AI for the green team, and I will have them start in the same place as us, but they're going to come around this corner here, and it looks like these guys that we're going to kill in here can actually see them through that window, so I'm going to have them... Actually, let's make that a little bit more tactical and climbing along the edges, and we're going to set that to alpha, so when I give the alpha code, that's when they will move, and they'll come down here. Uh, they'll kill whoever's over here. Uh, will that work? Yes, I think so. And they're going to come to, this is an opening in the fence here, and once I give them the go code, I'll actually set that as Bravo. And once I give them the go code for Bravo, they're going to come down here, through here, and they're going to make their way in here, kill whoever's in here, grab the hostage, and from there they will move down. Uh, that's a little bit not tactical. From there they will move down this way, where they will move in front of this building and meet us over here. Alright, so that should be a good plan. Uh, let's go to the execute mission room. Alright, we got our teams ready. 
Let's go. Just keep moving, and you'll stay warm. Alright, here we are in game, and I'm noticing a little bit of lag. I have a feeling this game, because it actually crashed before and I had to redo the plan, I get the feeling that this game doesn't like fraps too much. Oh crap. Die. I was kind of hoping they wouldn't see me, usually they don't. Whoa! We're getting all the enemy spawns today. The game does kind of change up the enemy spawns a little bit, so it's not exactly the same every time. You do kind of need to keep on your toes. Die. Almost didn't hit him. I should turn off the auto-aim, because it seems to screw me over more often than it helps. I mean, I always have the crosshair on him, but the auto-aim tries to aim for a specific part, and that usually just means it screws you over. All right, let's go in here. Uh, sometimes there's a guy under the stairs here. But it looks like he's not here right now. Anyway, let's look at this window and kind of... Alright, uh, single shot. Um, is there a guy? I see footsteps. I see footprints, but where is the person that made them? Is he behind that pillar there? I kind of want to get out my heartbeat sensor. That's a flashbang. Uh, well, I'm picking up somebody in the church, but what about... There's somebody outside. And another one down there. I don't know if that's my... No, that's definitely not my team. Okay. Guys, change of plans. We're not going to be sniping. We're going to be moving in directly. This is really annoying. I was really hoping to actually be able to snipe because then we would clear out this little plaza here without much trouble. Die. 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 I, I, I've heard at some point that uh, there used to be an exploit where people would just lean like this around corners and move. And apparently that was patched at some point, so now you can't do that. And what that means is that your aim absolutely sucks when you lean around corners. And that's what happens. Okay, so... Uh, uh, well, Ding Chavez is dead. Yeah, uh, the good thing about this over SWAT 4 is that when you die, you just kind of switch to the next person. Uh, what am I waiting for? Green, you go to Alpha. That's really disappointing. Okay, you gotta be careful here, because there's usually a guy in that window. Took you down. Die. Die. And you die as well. Oh, wow. It seems like everybody in... This time in particular, it seems like everybody is away from their usual spot. Uh... I'm wondering, because Green's about to get to Bravo. I wonder when I should let them go. Oh, my guys took care of that one. I'm actually going to reload. I don't think you can get an extended Magalog, or can you? Okay, well, Green's waiting for Bravo. Uh, let's... Where are you guys? Are you over here? You're over there. Okay, I hope the guy down there doesn't see that, because the hostage is right behind that wall, and if the bad guy sees it, I'm dead. Uh, take him out. Take him out. I hope there's nobody else. Uh, hostage, you're safe. Okay, come with me. Yes, I am going to protect you. And now it is time to tell Bravo to Bravo, go. go. I love that music. It just always comes in at the most inappropriate times. All right, that was dumb of me, just moving around the corner without looking. Uh, Got to be careful, because down here, the enemy's sight distance is kind of longer than your actual view distance. Uh, I'm being quite careful here. I'm worried. I just heard guys. Light him up! Uh-uh, you're done. You too. The moment you saw us, you became a threat. Okay, and Green, I just got the word that Green has picked up their hostage. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Gee, gee I th we're supposed to be a special forces team. Th th this is an embarrassment. This is just an embarrassment. Okay, come on, morons. Luckily, I am playing a custom mission, so this isn't permadeath. Ugh. Just, ugh. Alright, where's Green? Is there anybody in here I should be worried about? I don't want people flanking me while I'm in here. Yep, you're dead. Die. I tell ya. Alright, Green, pick up the pace. Feels kind of like a bittersweet victory now, though. I mean, okay, the other guy got lucky and managed to get a shot off first, but this was just embarrassing. Mission completed. Just keep moving. You'll stay warm. 
Okay, so for this mission I thought it would be kind of fun to play the same mission again, but from the perspective of the green team. Slightly modified so that the red AI will be maybe a little bit more competent. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm going to ignore the go codes because, well, I trust myself to handle these situations far more than my own team. Die! And is somebody else going to run across? Boom, just solved your problem for you, red. I'm actually going to be doing a lot of that in this mission because I don't trust the AI to do anything. Most of the time they just get killed. Uh, or sometimes they're scarily competent. It's very inconsistent, which is almost worse than it just being bad. You're dead. Uh, our guy's got somebody, but I don't know who. Hi! You suck! Oh, well, you could have died. That would have made my day a little bit easier, but oh well. Uh, go code. I always have such a hard time finding it on the keyboard, and I don't know why. Both of you died. It's pretty much... A lot of the gameplay is dependent on who gets the drop on who. If they're expecting you, they probably will get the first shot off. Uh, let's see. You're a dude. Now you're dead. And usually when you kill him, somebody opens that door, but now you're dead too. Uh, this is kind of the moment of truth, because the hostage is going to be just a couple of rooms away. Flashbang. Kill you, and where's the other dude? Oh, you should have just killed the hostage. Sometimes they do. I I, I already kind of recorded uh, footage from another mission that I played, and you're going to realize that this game way too much depends on chance. Actually, uh, the first time I tried to record this uh, green gameplay, I got screwed over by this, so which is why I'm going to kill these guys now. Anybody else? Okay, just had some lag there. That was seriously not the time to have lag. But I think I came out okay. You're dead. Okay, I think that's the basement clear, which means I won't be screwed over the same way I was before. Alright, come on, guys. Okay, I just heard red flashbang that room. And they lost a guy because they suck. Uh, but it seems like they probably did clear it, so I'm going to wait for them to grab their hostage before I start moving. Red, escorting. Death to you. Uh, I'm a little worried. Before, what happened was um, the guys in the basement kind of ambushed me through this door after I walked past it. So I'm kind of nervous. Uh, actually, where's Red at? Not on my map yet. I think we should take cover over here. You're, you're, oh, come on. He didn't die. That's going to... Oh, that's going to bite me. That's going to bite me. That's going to bite me. Let's get over here. You guys better be covering that area. This is tense. Where's red team? I don't see him. Okay, there's red team, though, so I'll let them deal with it. Alright, so he's down, but I think there's a second guy. I'm going to watch this door as red makes its way in. Gotcha. Is there anybody else going to try and be funny? Yes, there is! And, alright, red secured their hostage. Alright, we're just going to sprint for it. Come on. Oh, come on! Okay, there is mission complete, and I have to stop perhaps before we go to the menu. Operation Lion Shadow. A private banking house in London has been seized by terrorists in paramilitary gear. They have taken hostages and opened fire on the Metropolitan Police. As several of the hostages are Swiss nationals, both the British and Swiss governments have requested your assistance in this matter. Your mission is to liberate the bank and any hostages within, and prevent the destruction of valuable financial records that we believe are the terrorists' target. Alright, so you heard our same deals before, go in, kill the terrorists, save the hostages. This time I'm actually going to load a plan, because uh, that's what I did the first time, because I basically got frustrated. And it's actually a really good plan. I, I really like the one that um, they give you for this level, so let's go to the planning room and see what we have. You see, it's much, much more complicated than anything I could ever come up with, so let's go. Oh, and I almost just forgot and crashed the game again. Uh, a little tip for anybody that's planning to record gameplay of this. The game actually changes resolution between the menu and the game itself, so if you plan on doing that, turn off fraps uh, between the menu and starting the mission because it will crash. You'll have two enemies in there, the terrorists and the bank's security system. Don't neglect either 
one. Green, waiting for Bravo. Okay, so the plan is we're going to have snipers set up there. Green's waiting in another door, but we're not going to see them until later. Snipers are going to set up on top of the bus to shoot a guy inside this window who will set up the security system if he hears us come in. But that's not going to happen because snipers are going to take him out. As soon as that happens, we're going to bust in here with smoke, and now all we need to do is wait for our sniper team to get into position. Okay, so our sniper has eyes on the target. Uh, you smoke grenade, and as soon as they're ready, I'm going to give the go code. Uh, toss that in. Boom, and I heard the glass break, which means our sniper's got our man. Kill him. Okay, who's going to be coming around this corner? Usually somebody comes running. I don't know why the alarm went off this time, considering they shot their guy. Uh, come on. You're dead. Come on, there's always somebody else. It's never just one. Okay, that was kind of cheating on the auto-aim part. I should really turn that off. Okay, what's over here? Oh, kill him. Kill him. Contact rear. It's right in front of you. All right. Fall in on me, guys. I hear shooting. That doesn't sound good. Anybody in here? No. Okay, where are you going? Oh. I thought that was a shot. Turns out it's just them reloading. Okay, we are ready on Bravo, so Green is going to break in on this turn. Oh, I hear somebody upstairs. Oh, did, they, did Green just kill the guy that's at the top of these stairs? I shouldn't have looked away, but anyway, it doesn't matter because it looks like they got him. You're dead. Uh, where's Green? I hear shooting. Shooting is never good. It looks like both members of Gold are injured. That's a bad thing to have happen. I hope they don't die because if that happens, they're kind of screwed. Uh, Green, are you ready? All right. Okay. All right, we're all waiting for Charlie. Go! And there's yellow down there! Okay, so that was pretty much a perfect execution. Green came in, killed those guys. Red came in, killed these guys. And yellow burst into the vault and killed that dude. Leaving the hostage perfectly safe. That is what Rainbow Six is all about, baby. Okay. Making our way through the corridors. Uh, anybody here? No. I assume Yellow already took out the sniper on that rooftop. Anybody here? No. Alright, let's sprint down here and see what's behind door number three. You're a winner! Well, kind of. You're also dead. Aw, oh, Gold just lost a person. That's not good at all, but they are almost done in their role anyway because they're moving a person out. Uh, wait, Green all died? How did they die? Ugh. Okay, time to talk about something I really hate in this game. A lot of the time, it's pretty much just potluck whether your team makes it or not. The AI is dumb as a bag of rocks when they feel like it, which I really don't like about this game. Okay, what I'm going to do, let's see if I can come up with a plan here. Um, okay, well, Gold got their hostage out, but, yep, this is going to be bad. Ugh. All right, so that's Rainbow Six Three Raven Shield. Uh, I would recommend definitely getting it on Steam because this is an absolutely great game, especially if you're a fan of tactical shooters. Like I said before, if you didn't like Take Down Red Saber, get this because it's pretty much that, but better. A and by better, I mean way better, like infinitely better um it's like it's only like 10 bucks on steam so it's easily worth it uh it also, it also comes with the athena sh uh what, what is it called athena shield no athena sword yeah that is the that is the name of the expansion that i knew from the beginning so it's easily worth the money if you're a fan of tactical shooters you will absolutely love this game uh but then again if you're a fan of tactical shooters you probably already played it but on the off chance that you haven't uh get it uh and i will see you in the next video